In this video, we're going to look at one final non-destructive inspection technique known as radiography inspection or radiography testing. And all we mean by radiography is inspection by x-rays. And this is very similar to the type of x-ray that you would see in a hospital. On the left hand side, we have an example of how this works for a component that doesn't have any flaws or defects. And what we have is a source of the radiation and radiation is basically electromagnetic waves or electromagnetic energy. And those waves are emitted such that they're directed towards a film. So the radiation is emitted and an object can be placed in the way to obscure those x-rays. If the object absorbs all of the x-rays, then when the film is developed, that will be represented by a white region on the film. And in areas where the x-rays are not obscured, we're going to see black regions on the developed film. But we're going to see graduations between, as we'll discuss in a moment. So on the left hand side, we have radiation emitted. The object that's being scanned or x-rayed blocks the radiation. And we see a white impression on the film as a result. Now the advantage with x-rays is it can detect thicknesses and variations. So on the right hand side this time, we have an object and first of all that object has a recess and secondly it has a crack or a defect underneath the surface. So when we x-ray that object we have the film underneath and I've represented the film in both end view and plan view. Recall that where the x-rays are not obscured the film's going to turn black and where the x-rays are obscured it's going to be represented by white regions on the film. But we have these two defects, so we need to consider how they're going to appear on the film. And we would see something like this. So on our x-ray, in the regions where there's no material to block the radiation, we see that the film has turned black. We can also see that our recess on our component, shown here, runs the full width of our component, as we can see from our developed impression here. But what we're most interested in is the defect. And we can clearly see the defect here. And we can also see the size and the location of the defect. As with all non-destructive inspection, these results would need to be examined by a certified engineer to determine whether this is a relevant or non-relevant indication. Now in the past, there's been various complications with this process. One of those complications would involve the equipment that's required and the time that's taken to develop the film. Another problem in the past would have been testing these components in situ, but more recently what's been developed is actually portable digital radiography equipment. So in actual fact, a portable tester can be taken to site, and rather than developing the image as a film, testers are actually able to get instant feedback on a digital display. So although the initial outlay for equipment's relatively high, we're able to generate results on site and we're able to generate results very quickly. So this certainly becomes a viable inspection technique. So let's take a look at the types of results that this test would actually generate. So here we have an example of an X-ray that's been taken of the landing gear of an aircraft. And what we noticed circled is a crack in that component. And as it mentions below, that's actually a fatigue crack in that component. And we see underneath the image that this was taken with the Disco Razor X Pro system. And from this image, we can see how radiography testing is a very powerful tool for engineers when identifying faults and flaws in given engineering components. 